The research area of our project is the British artist paintings. The models of mechanical devices and measuring instruments are depicted. A large collection of similar models and devices has been collected and is still preserved in the Bauman Moscow State Technical University Historical Museum. Museum of the oldest technical university in Russia. It was founded in 1813. We had the opportunity to study exhibits of this collection and search for images of the subjects in the paintings of English masters. The paintings we found belong to the period of the Industrial Revolution in England and Western Europe, when the corresponding mechanism measuring instruments and devices were widespread in industry, transport and often used by people in their daily lives. We want to start showing an illustration the young James Watt playing with steam by Marcus Stone, which was made in 1884. The picture shows a family breakfast. The father is drinking coffee, the mother is sitting down and looking at her son, who is indulging and holding a spoon to the spot of the hot kettle. What a condensing of the cold surface of the spoon and invisible steam becomes visible. Let's see how the boy Jimmy will become the great James Watt, irrevocably change the way of the whole world with his discoveries and determine the development of human civilization and progress for many years to come. Spinning Jenny by James Hargreaves, Water Frame by Richard Arkwright, Samuel Cropton's Spinning Mule and Edmund Cartwright's new improved looms became prerequisites for an industrial revolution in England. New vehicles needed new sorts of energy. Everyone was waiting for a new engine. The engine soon appeared. In the main part of our project, this is the engine that James built, as a well-known English verse, consistently overgrown with details, tells about the creation of a serial industrial steam engine by James Watt, Matthew Bolton and William Murdoch. Collection of kinematic models of the second half of the 19th century founded by Alexander Yashov, headmaster of the Moscow Craft Educational Institution, is stored in the University Museum. Among the exhibits created by the students, there are mechanisms with a watt parallelogram, various regulators and steam distributors created by English inventors. Russian scientists and engineers started using these mechanisms. They modified and improved them. At the beginning of the 19th century, the monopoly of the Watt Bolton Company on the industrial production of steam engines ends in England. A new race for power and speed begins. Many industrial firms and individual engineers emerge and begin to introduce steam engines into new industries. James Hall Nesmith creates a powerful blacksmith press that significantly improves the quality of English steel, which in turn leads to the release of more powerful and better quality steam engines. Engineer Joshua Rutledge is portrayed with a ruler of his own design. The same ruler can be seen by visitors of our museum. It is made of bone, has a logarithmic scale, and it's additionally equipped with tables for calculating the nodes of low-pressure steam engines, which makes it the first engine or calculation and graphic device in the world. We can say with completely confidence that with the help of a slight rule, humanity went into space. In the final part of our project, we'll talk about creating a transport infrastructure that connected the most remote corners of the UK into a single commercial and industrial network, so that the sun would never set over the vast expanses of the English colonial empire, as we liked to say in London. In this connection, we should mention entire dynasties, father and son of English engineers, Richard and Francis Tretic, George and Robert Stevenson, Mark and Kingdom Bruno. Not that in the portraits most of them hold the brass compass matter in their hands. Drawing devices of English manufacturers of the 19th century, such as Fronton, Halden, Stanley, Elliot Brother, and others are widely represented in the University Museum. The implementation of our project would have been impossible without organizational measures to preserve the heritage of the engineering system at our university. We would like to express our gratitude to the director and staff of the BMSTU Museum for the opportunity to work with historical exhibits and archival materials. Thank you for your attention.